Thank you. Hi. Once upon a point in time, decades ago, when I was young, just before the lockdown, <laughs> I made a, a forensic presentation about uh, USB hacking tools, like uh, the USB rubber ducky, for example. After this event, uh, after this presentation, I got surprisingly much uh, feedback about from people. They came to me and say, ah, oh, you have in uh, experience with hardware keylogger and stuff like this. We have a case at the university. We have a case at the organization. We expected it. Do you know if there are forensic traces if hardware keylogger uh, attacks appear? At this point, I uh, don't know. So I say maybe, maybe not. We will see. So I try and get, uh, I, I go and get a hardware keylogger like this one you see in the picture. And this little keylogger have a nice feature. It have a built-in access point. So you just go to the office next door. You connect your Wi-Fi to the keylogger, and then you can uh, see in real time what the uh, victim is typing into the keyboard. I quickly show you how it looks. So here on the top four lines, you see that the victim came back from the lunch. Uh, he entered his password one time uh, with a typo, two times with a typo, three times with a typo, and the four times he uh, made the good password, Nutella one, which is <laughs> widely known as the best password in the world. <laughs> but uh, the keylogger is not the topic of this talk. Uh, so the topic of this talk is, can we find something back? Uh, so I create a small story script. Yeah. I simulate a user. The user uh, at 12 o'clock locks the dis uh, display. He goes out for lunch. Some minutes later, an attacker sneak in, plug out the keyboard, connect the keylogger, plug back the keyboard into the PC. Then the user come back from the break, continue working. Uh, at this point, I make an image of the Windows machine for later investigation, for the forensic analysis. Then the next day, I had the same scenario. Uh, victim go to lunch, attacker came back, and removed the keylogger from the PC. And then I shut down the PC and make a second forensic image of the PC to make another investigation. <clears throat> so let's see what I figure out. I had three pillars for the investigation, yes? I have the uh, file system timeline, I have the event logs, and I have the registry. So let's see what's happened on the file system timeline. Just some seconds after the keyboard, uh, after the attack, a file was created, a prefetch file, audio DG. So something with the audio system has, ha has been happened. Then I investigate the event logs, there is nothing in the application, nothing in the security, nothing in the system event logs. But, check back, in the audio event logs I find two events uh, quite seven seconds after each other. A sound was generated. One sound when you disconnect the keyboard, one sound when you reconnect the keyboard. Seven seconds. And I check back the registry because I have the timestamp, I know when the attack happens. And you see in the registry, we have a key for a Dell keyboard which get last arrival at the computer exactly at the point of the attack. So we find quite some small amount of evidences of the attack. So now let's check what happens the next day. We have still the same evidences. Yes, we have the prefetch file, but now you see that the timestamps on the prefetch file st uh, change to the new event. Just the burn timestamp stays stable. In the event logs, we have again two events, and this time it's just four seconds in between. So it's faster to remove the keylogger than connect it. And in the registry, the last arrival timestamp was overwritten. This is also a nice example of how it works with evidences in forensic because you have on one point, you have the logs, the logbook, like the event logs, where new stuff is recorded. On the other hand, on the file system, on the registry, you have the last timestamps, which are always overwritten when new events occur. And as a conclusion of this talk, we can say, 
if the computer is running, if this, this uh, keyboard is, uh, if the screen is locked, but if the computer is running and reacting on activity, then you find small and little evidences of the hardware keylogger connected to the systems. Uh, if the PC is off and you cannot uh, react on the activities, then you have no traces. That's all. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much.